Disposing of your Christmas tree is not only a fire safety issue, it's an issue of where to dispose. In Lake Havasu, there is a very unique environmental benefit of discarded Christmas trees. As it turns out, used trees can provide a unique ecological benefit to the aquatic life on the lake. TV45 went to Partners Point and met up with people from Anglers United and the Bureau of Land Management to see what they do with used trees. Kurt Cook of BLM explained how long this program has benefited the BLM Habitat Rehabilitation Program. Oh, we've been doing it for probably 12 to 15 years. Uh, had several different organizations in town help out and most recently over the past half dozen years or so it's been Anglers United that's really chipped in and helped us get it done. How, uh, how are you accepting the trees? We'll take the trees uh, with all the ornaments off. We like them as cleaned up and natural as possible. Uh, some of the folks will deliver them in garbage bags. We'll take the garbage bags off and just put an anchor on them and uh, get them in the bottom of the lake. They benefit the fish really well. And uh, this is only one aspect of the habit, Habitat re, uh, Redevelopment Program. How has this assisted you? Well, we, we went for the first 10 years of the program putting in artificial reefs, primarily plastic materials that were long-lived. And recently, over the past three years, we've gone into a maintenance mode where we utilize brush cuttings, tree trimmings primarily, and uh, they'll go in the organic... Uh, constituents and add to the habitat and some nutrients for the lake and the fisheries. I was just going to ask that, does this, uh, does the rotting tree provide nutrients for the lake? You bet, you bet. Uh, it, it feeds a small part of the food chain. Rivers, you know, uh, bring organics through their system. They erode trees out and branches and leaves and in a reservoir setting like this in the desert we don't get a whole lot of that and, and Havasu's had a problem with being relatively sterile conditions. So the trees add a little bit of nutrients, uh, feed some small organisms, microorganisms that feed the food chain and the fish ultimately benefit. Paul Rutherford of Anglers United explained the process of getting trees ready for the lake. Uh, originally we just get the trees, I put them in one of our bins and we pick them up, band them together with some metal straps uh, which will rust off after a period of time. We take it, I add a couple sandbags on it to give it weight because as you know wood floats. Put it on my boat, which is on these ramps right here. Then I take it out and I find a designated area which is somewhere between 20 and 15 foot of water. Basic habitat for fish. And I drop the trees there and I try to make a mound or an artificial reef or something like this so it becomes natural structure. Okay, so we're going to go out pretty soon in your uh, boat and uh, you're going to drop them. Where are we going? We're going to go to the what we call the Friendly Island Complex, which is down about a half a mile from here. Okay, that's where we'll go. See you then. Once we arrived at our destination, the crew dumped the trees. After that was done, they decided to take a look around the area. It sure made it seem like I was nowhere near civilization. Nope, didn't seem like work at all. Volunteers are always welcome to help this program. Kirk asks you contact his office. Volunteers can come down to Partners Point uh, Monday through Friday. Day break until 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon these days and uh, lend a hand by going out on the boats, helping us put the structure in. We've got a lot of uh, special needs that maybe one of them would be willing to fill in on. We'd like to build another fishing dock here in town, and uh, we, we try to monitor the fishery and, and see what diversity are there in species and growth and things, and, and there's other opportunities to help beyond the brush program. So they don't have to be a fisherman to be involved with this? No, no, there's a lot of different ways they could help. Our, our partnership is, is dedicated to taking care of the lake's health and uh, the aquatic productivity and diversity. And, and if they're inclined to help that way, give me a call over at the BLM. Uh, Kirk Cook, our number there is 505-1200. Or they can call down here at camp at uh, 716-0054. This is just one of the benefits of living on the river. Ken McKinney for TV 45.